President Joe Biden today awarded two Vietnam War veterans from Hawaii the Medal of Honor. Specialist 5 Dennis Fujii and Staff Sergeant Edward Kaneshiro. The award is the country's highest and most prestigious military decoration. It was a moment Dennis Fujii had been waiting for for 51 years, receiving the Medal of Honor from the president. He was just 19 years old in 1971, when while serving as a crew chief on a medevac helicopter, he was shot down during a rescue mission over Laos. Despite being wounded, he administered first aid to others and repeatedly exposed himself to enemy fire so he could call in more accurate airstrikes. Speaking to the press shortly after his experience, Specialist Fuji downplayed his own contributions and honored the skills of the allied Vietnamese troops he fought with, simply saying, I quote, I like my job. I like to help other people who need help out there. It's amazing. Today, Specialist 5 Fuji, we remember and we celebrate just how many people you helped. Staff Sergeant Edward Kaneshiro was recognized for his actions taken in Vietnam on December 1, 1966, when he single-handedly took on several enemy squads with his rifle and grenades. His heroism allowed his platoon to make a safe withdrawal. He was killed in action in 1967. His son John, who followed his father's footsteps by joining the Army, received the medal for him. So it's, it's very uh, inspiring, and you read uh, uh, what he did, you know, the selfless action, you know, I mean, uh, just uh, in the face of adversity. But I think for us now, our family, you know, it, it is, uh, it's an honor that you know America has 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 suggest we we recognize his his selflessness his courageousness uh, in the face of adversity. Staff Sergeant Kaneshiro's remains are buried at the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific at Punchbowl.